Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel to another episode of Darkfire Heroes and today the Guardians of the Chalice event has started. In this video we will do a full event breakdown of day 1, we will have a look at the 3 challenges as well as the heroes I have used and for sure I will show you which heroes I can recommend for each challenge and we will have a short look at the event shop as well as the new epic item set which contains the first time out of 3 epic items. If you're curious about all these things, just stay tuned and watch this video until the end. Thank you guys for being here again. If someone else is new here, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for free to my channel. Let's get started. As usual, let's have a look at the daily missions. Defeat 4 event bosses, defeat 150 wrestlers and win 4 levels. Quite easy and you definitely should collect these event coins in total 2200 per day. And this time you definitely need to spend them. We need to spend them in the event shop where we want to look as next but before we have a look at the totalizer which is quite nice first good thing is already level two even there are only 20 cards it's adeline and next good thing is at level six you can unlock again firestorm and directly level eight for 16,000 event coins spent the new hero leroy if we keep on going there are further cards of him a golden chest for 40,000 event coins and gelfrat on level 17 for a total of 55,000 event coins spent and then we come to level 18 the max level in free epic item shield of the order and this one looks really really cool it uh, boosts the defense by plus 75 the health by plus nine percent and the protection by plus four percent i think that is a different one to the uh, event picture but this one is really really good Times 5, that's uh, 325 uh, defense, 45% health points and 20% protection, which is quite a good item and you can get it for free. Definitely try to get it. If you look at the event shop, you already purchased some boss tickets. And uh, as I wanted to look at the allowed heroes at um, the arena and I needed to wait 10 minutes, I just said, come, let's, let's purchase some. You got a quite good offer here for 90 euro i will not go for it but maybe if some of you is interested it's okay get the new hero and nuro for sale and there we come to the new epic item set first the wooden chalice as, as you can see one attack one defense and one magical slot if you have a look at it plus eight damage the critical critical chance gets increased by one percent and on critical hit the opponent gets the debuff frailty for 12 seconds that is so long that is just this single item is really really nice frailty means that the opponent which got frailty on on, on his neck <laughs> gets his damage reduced by 30 percent and increases the damage the opponent is taking by 25 percent so you can kill them faster and you uh yeah you 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 are taking less damage this debuff is really really great and the insane thing is it's for 12 seconds you already can see the set bonus from these three chalices and the damage gets boosted by plus 40 the defense as well as the protection by 300 so may even the uh, single slot item is not the best one with that buff of the set bonus that's just a sixth item slot which will give you 40 uh, the damage defense and protection of 300 that is just insane we got the iron chalice here with a defense boost of 16 percent health boost of plus nine and the damage add-on plus two and the last one is the golden chalice with a protection buff of plus 20 percent critical chance of plus one percent and the health plus 30 so overall i don't think that these items are that good the first one is the best one the wooden chalice but in combination they will be extremely helpful for all the heroes um, i think which are low leveled as the set bonus has the hugest impact we got damage flat value we got the critical critical chance flat value or percent points which um, does not increase anyways with the level and here damage flat value the other one's percentage where you would have a better increase on a higher level and here we got only the protection with a percentage raise. So I think these items, they will be extremely helpful at low level heroes. Coming to the shop itself, it's insane. Adeline as well as Mala 
I will go for both. We got Chosse. If you didn't max him out, maybe consider him, but he's quite easy to get, so I would not go for the common heroes. Some spells, protection and aid, as well as the armor spell. And we got two profile images and the wood chalice frame, which I really like. So that's the event ship for today, or for this weekend. Now let's get ahead and have a look at the challenges and the uh, leaderboards. Starting with the level challenge, we got a solo leaderboard as well as a clan leaderboard. And payout here is Priya as well as some these gems and coins and the clan for sure is the clan the event coins. Next we got the arena prawn. This is a solo leaderboard in behind and the payouts here we can get incinerate together with a spell chest, gems and coins and the last challenge of today is a boss challenge which is interesting. More to that in a few seconds. Here we have a solo leaderboard and you are able to get a sashi which is definitely not the best thing to get beside that a, a silver chest and some essences. Let's start with those three challenges and start directly with the level challenge. This is quite interesting as we are back at the Master of Elements event. We are only allowed to use three heroes and we can see fire and air gets the boost at this weekend event, which is really nice. And if we have a look at the heroes, I can recommend. You already can see here. Sorry, that is there at the bottom. Ah, it was the false one. I yeah. Now I got it. Um, we got Daer, Dagmir, Lorenzo, Luke, and Brumira with an S rating, and I can definitely recommend Luke in the later levels for a main tank. Lorenzo is good as well, but maybe not at this level. Shall we? I have had the feeling on all these levels that uh, physical damage was better. That's why I'm not going with magical damage, and I've preferred Josse and Mala. Chosse got an A rating, uh, Chosse and Dair, and they didn't use Mala. Um, furthermore, we got Aul, Fre uh, Fena, Gelfrad, Hiroshi, Klexander, and Lears with an A rating. So I think if you're struggling, just use Luke and Aul. Most of you should have leveled up her anyway, and one damage dealer, physical damage. The second part of this is, uh, furthermore, A rated heroes with Liang, Mala, Mingsu, Nyena, Oto, Bruya, Rihanna, Fiend, Vedoma and Sasha. So as you already can see, a lot of heroes are quite good to use here. No restrictions for elements or role. And let's directly start with this challenge. First few levels I've tried with Lorenzo, but then I made the decision not go with him. We are going for the protection spell. And we should directly start the level. It will get quite hard. If we can't complete it with that team, um, the reason I am using Oto here is that he can jump quite far. And now we don't have our burn spell. Directly should restart it. Hey, okay, maybe burn would not kill them all. Um, as Oto can jump quite far and that is helpful to get some speed here. Okay, these little reds are really tanky. What the hell? So that scaling of this level was quite hard and the reds are taking more magical damage. So maybe for a stage 15 that was the false decision to not go with any uh, magical damage dealer and this okay the spawner in the background not call uh, taking that high damage that was okay oh okay these barracks and all these spawners here they are quite hard but we critical hit they are only taking reduced critical hit damage, so you need to be careful here. Now we need to use the 8 spell. We need to use the big one now when we are close together. Ah, Oto took too much damage there. That was not well played by me. Okay, let's directly jump in. And use the protection. And it's not looking that bad, it's looking good to be honest. Is that the last? Hero or the opponent? Yeah, we did it with the fast team. I think even that could we could get some further points if we use Luke here, just because of 
He takes not that much damage and we would have more health points and the jump was not that high advantage. Nice. Where are we at? Top 3 at least? Top 2. Nice. So still a lot of points where we can improve our high score. Let's have a look at the clan. Yeah, definitely 9000 further points. So I will boost my high scores. Let's get ahead and have a look at the arena brawl. We are only allowed to use ranged heroes. That's why the hero pool is not the best one. And here you can see the S and A rating. We got Leon, Eseppe, Nur with an S rating, Hurlin, Jossi, Lyris, Mala and Veloma with an A rating. And uh, I am using, to be honest, I am using Adeline here. Which I still think is quite good to use. Even she does not have the best rating for uh, this event. I, I, I like her quite a lot. She got... Uh, C rating at castle. The simple reason is she gets the boost and she is uh, equipped not with only critical hits uh, abilities. You have a look at it. Yeah, right now that was my fault. You need to equip the items for sure. Here we go, use the loadout. You can see that she got mainly boosted the damage. So she is my power one shot hero. We got furthermore Jose and Mala with an A rating and Nienna, which I still like a lot, but I think I will exchange her in the later stages. The simple reason was that I don't have that much crit items, so I've used the hero who gains uh, more from, from uh, damage boost. So we may use lures here, but then then our Adeline would not be that good. Eseppe on level 1, maybe. Yeah, I, I don't think so. So, which heroes I can recommend? I think Aldean can be quite good, as we are not allowed to use melee heroes. And Nuro as well. They can CC the opponent, and you have no tank, or main tank, front, front line. Um, so it's good to, to push the enemies as far as possible. Furthermore, with Isepe and his debuff, the opponent's taking further damage. So I will try it with this team. I'm not sure how far we would go. Uh, we will go, but let's go for this level. This one is still quite easy. The harder levels coming, starting with level 15, 16, like usual. And yeah, the simple way is every time placing the Mukunit and trying to kill every hero and the tower, then finish off with our uh, main single shot damage hero. We are in range and Adeline does what Adeline does. One shotting the tower, that is really nice. Even she is only C rated, I quite like her together with Lears. We finish off the job quite fast. We need to look how far we could get, but I'm looking forward. And last, the solo boss battle, which is interesting. I already told you. And the simple reason is that the opponent is taking further physical damage. We could do quite a high amount of damage. But if we compare the last boss with level 14, I'm not sure if I missed something, but the last one has significantly less HP than this one. And I thought it's quite easy. We can go for level 14, we can do it with one ticket. And as I saw, 256,000 HP. We will try it. I think we cannot do it with one ticket, but we will try our best. We go. I don't know why this is working like this. Nice that we saw it. We need to use the leader ability of Dark Mirror to enrage our heroes whenever they critical hit. Let's try it. It's quite hard. We are allowed to use every hero here. So you can see in parallel the S rated heroes. We may talk about it later on. We got Salva, Lies, Mana, Dark Mirror, Klexander, Adeline, and Lynx. And I'm using quite a lot of them. Especially the damage dealers with physical damage. I good for that. We need to... Oh, I don't want to restart. We don't have... Why the hell we don't have the good spells equipped? We get Plast and things like that. We don't have a heal or protection. Okay, I did not um, save up the... I didn't. Unfortunately, I didn't save the uh, correct spells. So that is my fault. It's okay. It's okay. It's not good. As our hero will get one shot. We need protection here. That's the thing I can recommend. 
And now I've even used the spell in the false way, but we got Takmir. Okay, we don't have the good spells. That is that is really sad. I'm I'm sorry for that. That is my fault. But you already can see the critical hits from Adeline with her hero power. They are quite nice. So we definitely were able to do a lot of damage here. And I will try the I think the next boss as well. Yeah, we don't have any spells which we can use here. There was the one shot where we need our protection spell. And now without a uh, air we will not be able to do it. Sadly. Sad story. With Dyer it would have been possible. We may even try the next boss, if the video gets longer. Can't use the spells here, that is that is not good. And now they're okay, there it is the backline, that was not good. Good our uh, Mikunit was already placed there. Oh, that was so bad blade, if I'm honest. We could have done it, but sadly, we did not good play it in a good way. That that is my fault. I'm really sorry for that. So let's directly go for the next one. And may if we can't complete this one, we go with the correct spells for the next one. Even the video is quite long. Um, didn't see that that I did not save the spells. I think we went like this, yeah. Need to save it, otherwise I will do the false or this mistake will happen again. Save to this. So this one is easy. Nearly one-shotting. Adeline doing so much damage with the double boost. We already talked about the S heroes. Let's have a look at the A-rated heroes. We got Dyer, Seppe, Jossi, Yana, Vadoma, Revna and Ayul. Or you can be good for some of you who need a healer. So let's directly kill him. That's not a big deal. Then we want to do some damage at the last boss. Or at the next boss, level 15. It's my last ticket. So now let's try to kill this one. Okay, we will not be able as the opponent got 20,000 HP. But let's see how much HP we can... Yeah, how, how much damage we can do. <clears throat> Don't have the enrage spell for the early, but it's okay. Just need to save our other ear and kill the minions. That's why I'm using Chosse. The AoE damage helps us. Okay, not that much damage in the first 20 seconds. There we need a health point boost. The big spark is not causing that much damage. Reinforcements. Now we need to wait for the... There we go. There are the mini. Spawn. Now spark shot. We need to be careful. As there will be the... Well, it's not the flame wave. Not knockback heroes any either. The Doomhammer it is. Maybe it was a little bit early. But he survived it. So now as you already can see we will not have a chance to complete it in total. As we didn't do the half amount of damage we need. In half of the amount of time. But anyway it's a good tr better try than last time. Go for this one. Enrage them. Even they are enraged, just somebody's not critical hitting. More damage will help us. But that one went much better than the first try, and we were able to complete level 14 with one ticket. Sad that I did not equip the correct spells. Really sad. This one was close. Here, we needed the two tickets for sure. But what is the damage? Is it 300k? No, it's less. 285, like like that. 
273, that is okay, I can live with that. So as you already can see, the boss is taking further physical damage. So that's it about today's video. 20 minutes, hopefully it was not too long for you. You can see the heroes I have used and the heroes I can recommend. Now it's your turn, please let me know the heroes you have used in the comment section. I wish you all good luck and may boost your highest score to new highest. We will see us in tomorrow's video about Darkfire Heroes. Thank you guys.